We're playing the Grim Fandango Remastered today. Oh, this is going to be amazing. This is one of my favorite games I've ever played. Um, obviously, besides Minecraft. It's a very great game. I just recently finished up the end, but I haven't played the beginning of this game in like two years. I played it on and off for two years. It's a very difficult game, but I think it'll be kind of fun to stream. Uh, hi to the one viewer that's sitting and watching this. Hi. Hi, welcome. Um, while I was offline for my long hiatus, I got a new follower, Jughead32110. No, that's not right. Jughead3210. Thanks for following me, dude. It means a lot. Okay. Now we're going to create a new game. And there's some cutscenes. Sorry for the wait, Mr. Flores. I am ready to take you now. Take me? Take me where? Now, now. There's no need to be nervous. Nervous? Mm, no. It, just your appearance. It's a little intimidating. Intimidating? Me? But I'm your friend. My name's Manny Calavera. I'm your new travel agent. I don't want a new travel agent. I want to go home. <laughs> you can't go home, Celso. You're dead. But you're not alone. Everybody here is just as dead as you. That's why we call it the land of the dead. Are you ready for your big journey? No. What journey? The four-year journey of the soul. It is quite a big trip. And I can't lie to you, Celso. It could be very, very dangerous. Unless you were to take that money you were buried with and buy a better travel package from us. I mean, wouldn't you rather cross the land of the dead in your own sports car? Maybe try a luxury ocean cruise? Or, if you led a very good life, you may even be eligible for a ticket on the number nine itself. The number nine? That's our top of the line express train. It shoots straight to the ninth underworld, the land of eternal rest, in four minutes instead of four years. But very few people qualify. Let's take a look at your records. Hmm? Hmm. Bad news is the train appears to be just out of your reach, but I still got a couple of tricks up my sleeve here. Mm-hmm. Yeah, ha! Yes, that's the ticket. The Excelsior Line. Yes, she's a beauty. That compass and the handle will sure come in handy, too. Oh, you're going to have a great trip. Wish I was going. Why don't you? You could give me a lift. Oh, I can't leave here until I've worked off a little debt to the powers that be. Community service, eh? Well, I guess there are some folks worse off than me. Oh, I'll be leaving here soon enough. No thanks to dead and no commission low-life cases like yours, Menso. Hey, Manny. The boss told me to tell you not to leave early tonight. He wants to talk to you about something when he gets back from his trip. Tell Don not to worry. I'm not going anywhere. Especially not with clients like that. Where do they get these guys? They don't qualify for anything good, so I can't sell anything good. I can't work off my time, and I'm stuck. Stuck selling walking sticks to a bunch of burros for eternity. I need better clients. I need a real saint. I need a lead on a rich, dead saint. Hmm. ¿Qué es esto? Yay, now we get to play. This is a point-and-click game, so it's one of those games where you basically use your mouse cursor a lot. So I'm going to assume, because that's lit up differently, I have to click there. This is the use button, this is the C button, that's the pick up button. Let's do the use button. It's some sort of special work order. To all agents from... Office manager Don Copel. All right, you boneheads. Thank you, lucky stars, and get to your friggin' cars. We have a mass poisoning on our hands. Too many dead to assign specific cases. So all clients are first come, first serve. So let's see some hustle out there. Whatever you say, Hiffy. 
Well, that sounded intriguing. What's this? The message tube is full of nothing, as usual. So that's just a message tube. Okay, that's just what that does. I can walk around with W A S and D as well, which is kind of convenient. I'm gonna assume. I don't want to reread the old files. It'll just make me sad. Ah, uh, when people died with dignity, and Domino Hurley didn't exist. Not picking that up. Okay. What's over here? This is my computer. So I wonder if there's anything I can do over here at my computer. What do I have to do is the question. Here's Celso's file. That walking stick was too good for him. Hmm. Huh. So I assume I have to get some sort of better case that's gonna like... Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. Okay. What's this? What's that? Better take these cards. It looks like a long day of solitaire for me. Okay, so I also have an inventory. This button right here, I can also access it with I. And so I have this, which is, I'm gonna assume, my scythe. My scythe. I like to keep it next to where my heart used to be. <laughs> and then... This deck of cards is a little frayed around the edges. A then deck again, of cards. So mine, and I've got fewer suits. Uh-huh. <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Read them already. Didn't help. Read them already. My okay. boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. Interesting. Okay. So maybe I should leave my office. Okay, good to know. I should probably do that then. So I have to find a different save game that I don't want. I'm gonna go with that one. Because I did complete the game already. Wait, no, there's a fifth slave slot. <gasps> Yay, okay. What's in here? Domino's door is locked. Probably scared I'll steal one of his files. Not a bad idea, actually. He sound... He's my boss, I think. Hey, we got two viewers. Hi. Welcome. There's people driving really loud cars outside my house. Ignore Big that. Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. And there's dogs. But why can't my neighborhood ever be quiet when I want to stream? Buenos dias. Manny, why aren't you at the poisoning? What poisoning? The code three gazpacho poisoning that everybody's at but you. Why do I send out memos if nobody reads them? Where was the poisoning again? Just ask your driver for crying out loud. He'll know. Uh, I forget. Am I supposed to be somewhere right now? Manny, do I have to explain your job to you again? No, but I'd no, like to hear like it for description kicks. It. Just for kicks. Well, the Manuel Calavera that I know picks up people in the land of the living. Dead people? Preferably. And he brings them here and tries valiantly to sell them the best travel package they qualify for. If he sells them enough premium packages, our hero will be free to leave the land of the dead. Until then, he and I are stuck here having the same conversation over and over again for eternity. Lovely. Well, enough about me. What's your job like? Like babysitting. Except I don't get to watch TV. Fair enough. What if we just skip town tonight? You and me, baby. Well, thanks for the offer, but we'd never make it out of the city alive. But... In one piece, I mean. I bet I could get you out, if I really tried. Oh, Manny, look at you. You're a trapped soul and you don't even know it. Why do some clients qualify for better travel packages? They led good lives. Que tries. How do you define a good life? Better than yours and mine. So I have to get a lot of information out of talking with other characters. So what did you do in life to get stuck here? What I did back in the bad days is none of mm -hmm. your business. We got a follower, you know Goldilocks919. Thank you for the follow. It means a lot. New follower, woo! Just one more question one about, more my job. about my job. Manny, you know what to do. Stop laying dumb just to flirt with me. Any messages for me? Besides the one about the poisoning? Yeah. I only have one other message for you, Manny. I'm not your secretary. I don't take your messages. So get it through your thick skull and stop forwarding your phone to me. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but that sounded more like four messages to me. Love this game, says Goldilocks919. This is a great game. It really is. In my heart, though, you're still my secretary. Manny, what are you talking about? I was never your secretary, even when you were on top. I got one boss, same as you, Don Copel. Hmm. Okay. 
come on. I know you work for another man besides Don. Well, well, what are you talking about? I know you take memos for Hurley sometimes. Ah, oh, Manny, just beat it, will ya? Busy as ever, I see. I'd have more work to do if you had more clients. Ouch. R that's rough. <laughs> Where is everybody? Oh, Manny, did you forget what day it is today? Oh, man, did I come in on Saturday again? It's the Day of the Dead. Everybody's back in the land of the living, visiting their families like we should be. Hmm, <laughs> okay. Why aren't you visiting your family today? Ah, the boss is here, so I gotta be here. How about you, Cal? No one back there I want to see. And you don't want Domino here alone, getting all the good leads. Domino's here? He's at the poisoning right now, stealing your commission. So, you going to the Christmas Why party? Why are we talking After about Christmas? <laughs> you made of yourself last year? I wouldn't miss it for the world. There's a Christmas party. Any good gossip? Well, I heard Domino got a raise. Por favor, tell me some good news, why don't you? I still love you. You're all I really need, Bellissa. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Okay. So I can't go through there. And I've already talked to everything I need to... Okay, what's this? Is that an el that's the elevator okay what the heck is this hey let's go over here okay what's up that way oh that's to the land of the living can't go through on foot people have tried but they never came back oh okay that's Not rough that up that's Who's just there lies the limbo highway and on the other side of that the land of the living okay what's this then the driver demons operate this somehow, and the company won't tell a salesman how it works. I Gotta wonder... keep us down somehow. Wonder why. There are lights for wash, rinse, wax, and land of the living, depending on your destination. Interesting. Okay. What's over here? Anything of interest? There's like a little office building. Can I get in? Service. Hey, who the? Hey. Oh, sorry, sir. I didn't expect sales agents usually don't come over to this part of the garage. How did he fit in there? I just want to know. Are you a driver? Me? Ah, no, 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 no. I don't ride them. Just wrench them. I'm Calavera. Manny Calavera. My name's Gladys. Gladys. I don't get many visitors. Hey. I got a message for a Mr. Calavera. Uh, your driver said that Mr. Hurley said that he could have the rest of the day or Domino sent my driver home? Yeah, wasn't that nice? Well, I... <laughs> Looks like I need a new driver. Oh, I, uh, I, uh, I would agree with that. Yes, you do. Thank you. You want to be my replacement driver? Me? Oh, Oh, no. Sorry. Can't. Rules. Come on, Gladys. I wonder I if I can convince him. Driver. No, I can't. I'm... I'm... I'm too big. You're not too big. You're just right. No, they told me again and again. I'm too big to drive. You're not too big. You're the cars are big. just too small. The cars are just too small. Yeah, those dang compact cars. Hey, that gives me an idea. I could alter your car just a bit with just a quick torch job to let out the seams, you know? I'll, I'm not allowed to modify the cars without a work order from upstairs. I could lose my job. A work order, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't torch anything bigger than a cigarette without one of these signed by the boss himself. Hey, that's my line. Getting people to sign. Back in a snap. Yeah, too small. I'm not too big. Everything around here is just too small. Completely agree. He still shouldn't fit, be able to fit in there. Okay, what's this? That won't help him get signed. Thank you. I just want to know what that is. It's locked. Interesting. Hey, Manny! Did you get that work order signed yet? No. Can we just do it without? I told you I could lose my job! Manny! If I lose my job! Hey, 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 don't worry. Just go on back to work. I'll get that work order signed. Okay, I, I have to get the work order signed. It's just a water fountain. What's the... Can I do... Hey, 
Okay, no, stop, stop, okay. I'll get that work order signed. I just, I just went through that dialogue. Okay. Let's go this way. And we can get, what's this? Can I click on that? Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. So I have to have him get it down for me because he's a he's a he's a large whatever a large glottis. Sure. <laughs> okay. Can I like give it to Ava and will she sign it for me? I've got to get this work order signed. Ava, I really need the boss to sign this work order. I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, I've got Manny Calavera out here to see you. Didn't I say no interruptions today? Eh, sorry, Cal. Maybe tomorrow. That's too late. Oh, yeah, like you're going anywhere. Fair point. Okay. Let's go down here. Let's down here. Okay. There's there's something down this way. What is this? Okay, there's a door. It's locked. Of course it's locked. What's that? There she is. Oh, that's the number, number nine. nine. Okay. One of these days, I'm gonna ride her right on out of here. Yeah. Good afternoon. Well. Ah, the old head of the department. Oh. Way before my time, I heard he was a total slave driver. Oh, okay. Let's see. Where am I on this? Don Copal. Domino Hurley, Junior Sales Associates. That better not be me. It just doesn't tell us anyway. Okay, what's over here? It's locked. Of course it's locked. And then what's this? Not that I have a choice, but I wonder if I'd be happier working on a ship. Then again, I'm so competitive, I wouldn't be able to relax until I was captain. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. How's it hanging? Why am I talking to statues? They're not going to respond to me. This, so there's just nothing over that way. Okay, good to good good to, good to know. <laughs> All right then. So I can't give it to. So I have to like. Can I go to the boss directly? Big Mr. Boss Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Okay, let's. Domino's door is locked. Okay. So how do I? How do I get over there? Is the question. Can I... Can I do something? Huh. I can't walk that way because there's an invisible wall, okay? <laughs> there's always an invisible wall. So I can't give it to her to get it signed. So I have to figure out some way to get him to sign it. Wait, these are doors out of here. I can just leave. What is this? Whose car is this? We can't operate cars. That's how they keep us from skipping town. What do you mean I can't operate a car? Like they never teach you how to operate a car? Oh, here's like a festival because it's the Day of the Dead. What is this? Looks like some sort of crafty mine. Hey, what's going down, clown? Hey, back off, suit. I'm practicing. Practicing, practicing what? what? Ring in your neck. What does it look like? Twist me up one of them, huh, fella? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Twist this, all right? What? Some festival, huh? Yeah, yeah, pretty busy. My carpal tunnel syndrome's really acting up. But you don't have any tendons. Yeah, well, you don't have a tongue. But that doesn't seem to shut you up, now does it? Well, he's a sassy little clown. Can you teach me how to do that? Well, um, since you're a beginner, why don't you practice the first step? Which is? Blow! Bang! Ah, pop another one. Lousy, bony fingers! <laughs> <laughs> Can I walk through your tent? I want to see the parade. Well, walk through someone else's tent, all right? Do I look like a turnstile to you? Fair enough. Bet you can't do a cat. Shows what you know, buddy. I can do anything. I can do birds, amphibians, famous poets. Go ahead. Name one. 
Robert I'm Frost. Trying to stop me, eh? Ta -da. I don't see it. Is that Robert Frost? Hey, we got three viewers. This game, this is bad. I'm sorry. This is a good game. This is a very good game. I don't, I don't see Robert Frost in that. Maybe I'm missing the point. Bread? What is this? Since I really didn't get to celebrate the festival this year, I think I'm entitled to a little pan de muertos. So I just get to take them, and I could just shove the bread on in my suit. Okay, that's that's okay. <laughs> that's fine. Interesting. What's this? Hello. There's like a trap door on the ground. Where's this lead? It's huge. I can't open it. What's that? Is this like... Is that a rope all the way to the top? What the heck is this? What am... Okay, what's in here? Whose office is this? Did I just climb in somebody's office? Memo from the desk. Oh, this is Don Copal. Hey, orders are assigned by my office and are not exchangeable among salesmen. Swapping, selling, and especially stealing work orders will result in severe disciplinary action. Oh, well, that sucks, doesn't it? I could care less. If I go out that way, everyone will know I was snooping around in here. Fair enough. What is this? I would love to search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. Okay, can I? He's not even I would in love here. To search Don's office right now, but I'm late for the poisoning. So what am I? I would love to search Don's office right now. Can but I do I'm something here? Poison. It looks like Don's rigged his computer to automatically answer his intercom. Interesting. Oh, so like, didn't I say no interruptions today is one of them? J Hi, Cripes, Ava. Just shine at yourself, will ya? I'm busy. I'll just change his auto response here. Well, that'll that'll make it that'll make that'll make it so she signs it then, right? Is that how that works? I think that's how that works. I think we're gonna be able to sign the work order, and then I'll be able to go to whatever the point. No, let me. What the heck? Heh. Heh. What? Can I not go around that way? No, I can. Does this lead all the way back to my office? Domino locks his window. Oh, that's Clear Domino's office. Probably. Okay. And this is still Don's office. Interesting. Okay. Can I get over there? Can I pick this up? No, it picks up the other side. Okay. And what if I, like, throw it? Yes? I missed. Incredible. Maybe that's not what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> yeah, let's go get that work order signed, I guess. That's something we're gonna do. Yeah. Okay. And we run back. Been around through the door through here. So now, if I give this to Ava, she's gonna get the auto response, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, yes. If I really need the boss to sign this work order, I'll give it a shot. Mr. Copel, Mr. Calavera has something out here that he says he needs your signature on. Ah, oh, great, Ava. Just sign it yourself, will you? I'm busy. Yeah, that worked out well. <laughs> You'll have to excuse him, Mammy. It's probably a really hard crossword puzzle he's got in there today. Eva, I'm impressed. I had no idea you had this kind of power. <laughs> well, we all have our secrets.
Hey. Oh, this is Glados. Okay, I got my scythe, I got my cool Reaper stuff on. What is happen what is happening here? <laughs> Say black is slimming. I'm Fair enough. Yeah, I'm He's just bottoming out every ten seconds. In amazing. I could have walked faster than this. Uh, I'm gonna miss the poisoning. The noises he makes. What the heck is this? What the heck? Hey. Who is that? Domino. Oh. Ooh, the living still give me the creeps. This is the land of the living? No, it's not. It's the fear of death that makes monsters of us all. That's just. Scaring the living is yeah, I'm gonna. I can't use my bare hands. I'm a professional. So scythe. Oh, well, we got an achievement. Cool. You can't see that. But... So I just slice it open with the scythe. Who the heck is this? Nice bathrobe. Incredible. <laughs> Package upgrades if you care to cut the yeah. I want something cheap where I can get some rest. Now that's it. Ay, ay, ay. You know, Manny, I could make this car a little faster if you wanted. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. Slam the front into the weeds. Tub the rear end. Do blowers. Pop it out of the hood. You'll get plenty of rest this way, Mr. Martinez, and you'll be safely padded by the foam created when these two chemicals mix, like this. Oh, on second thought, I, I want to upgrade my package. Sorry, Bruno, but you didn't qualify for anything better. But here, have this complimentary mug. No, wait! Uh, can't you find me something where I can move my legs? You know I'd like to, Bruno, but my boss is a real hard-ass. I gotta be a hard ass when I got lazy sickle waivers like this jolly boy working for me. Manny, you couldn't find a sale at a yacht club. I got a sale right here. I'm talking premium sale, Calavera. Like the kind Domino makes. How am I supposed to make premium sales with the scumbag clients you're sending me? Hey! Now you're blaming the client? I've had it with you, Manny. If you haven't bagged a premium before the next sales report comes in, you're out! Out on the street, no job, no way to work off your time. Just your fancy suit and your big smile and a whole lot of time to kill. Who you calling a scumbag? Why I on a... <sighs> I'm sick of waiting around for a good lead. Like it's gonna fly in here tied to a brick. It's time to take one. Okay. <laughs> that was a funny cutscene. <laughs> I liked that. Okay, anything new from Ava? Hey, you missed a great poisoning. Yeah, and you missed a great client. Domino came back from there with a nun. Incredible. Got a tiny little man with a mean temper and no commission. Well, at least you don't work for one. I can't find my driver. Manny, you know what to do. Stop playing dumb just to flirt with me. Manny, if you don't mind, I've got a lot of filing here to do. Right. I do watch you. Okay. <laughs> oh, Domino's office is open again because he's back. What is he working out? Like, <laughs> huh? He's just punching a punching bag with his... Okay. Hey, Dom. What's your screensaver password? Get away from my computer, Manny. Fair enough. Anything in here? A lock on it. Can't believe he doesn't trust me. I wonder why. What is this? 
what is it? That's some premium looking oh, scotch. okay. Have some, Manny. Just so you don't forget what premium tastes like. Okay. I'll try not to take offense to that. Okay, let's talk to you. Well, at least you're not hitting the bottle anymore. Hey, Callie, how you doing? Callie. So, how'd you make out of the green? Well, let's just say that Sister Calabaza has a secret passion. For trains. You got a nun? Hail Mary. And you sold her a ticket on the number nine train. Choo choo, little buddy. Of course he did. Say, how'd you score? I got. What should I tell him? I'm gonna tell him I got a, I nun, got a nun too. too. Bruno's a pretty strange name for a nun, wouldn't you say? Well, you know how cruel sisters can be about nicknames. Okay. <laughs> I want to ask you a question. Shoot, slugger. Um. Uh -huh. Is it hard to kiss up to the boss so much when you got no lips? Hey, I got all the lip I need. I get it from you. Oof. Can I have one of your clients? Sure, Cal. Just as soon as I get what I think you could handle, I can handle anything you got, especially if that's your best right jab. <laughs> Roasted. Why do you get all the good clients? You're asking the wrong guy. You should be taking a good long look at the man in the mirror. No thanks. I don't enjoy that the same way you do. Oof. What did you do to get this job? You mean what's my secret to success? No, I mean how did you screw up and get stuck here at the DOD? What sin did you commit and how long are you gonna have to work here to pay it off? Well, I could easily ask the same question of you, but I don't know the answer. I still don't know what I've done. Well, how convenient. Then, uh, neither do I. Huh. I wanna tell you something. Good. Go on and let it all out, Manny. There's no reason for you to be afraid of me. You know, this used to be my office. Yeah, I know. I found your name on some comic books in the desk. What? I want my office back. Don't worry, you'll have years and years to enjoy it after I get promoted out and you're still here. Why did I get demoted? I think you're up to something. Yeah, I'm up to about four premium sales this week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we should team up. Be partners. Oh. Manny, I, I would, but I'm too intimidated. I could never be partners with someone who was so much more of a man than me. Oh, come on. I've seen your wife. <laughs> I want to punch you in the mouth. Punch you in the mouth. Oh, no, not the Christmas party all over again. Oh, so that's what happened in their what Christmas party. The Christmas party. Blacked out on the whole thing, huh? Maybe you should switch to lemonade, kid. Well, Oof. you sound pretty out of breath. So I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Did I get any information from him besides the fact that this used to be my office and then I got demoted? No. Okay. Anything of value? Can I do something? Right no. Already. Okay. Didn't help. Anything new on the computer? I doubt it, but you know it's better to check. Anything at all? I should close Bruno's record before the black mark burn into my screen. Oh no. Well, he sounds like he wasn't a pleasure to be around. Oh, we got four viewers. Hello to the four viewers watching me play this game. This is a great game. Hope you're having fun, everybody. Okay. Let's see. We're going to go down to here, I think. And we're gonna do a little more investigation to see how we want to progress next. No, Who the heck is this? Uh, you and your fancy suits and your nose holes way up in the air, sticking your empty beer bottles down the message tubes. How fancy is that? Huh? Don't you boys upstairs realize the tube switcher is a sophisticated and delicate piece of machinery? Huh? You okay. think you're better than me? No. Good. What? I am so very confused. What the heck did he... Well, this door is unlocked now, but what the heck did he want from me? Oh, this is the tube switcher? Oh, so this is like all the tubes. So, like, this would be like, for example, Domino's office comes down here, and then it goes from there to, like, somewhere else. It's the sophisticated and delicate hub of all communications here in the Department of Death. Interesting. Not picking that as a rule, I never touch anything more sophisticated and delicate than myself. Fair enough. How do I get in? I can't. 
turn and the door won't budge. Well, that's rather unfortunate. Wait. That's slightly glowing. What is this? This is a fire extinguisher. Let's use it there. On fire. It doesn't have to be on fire. That's not on fire. Okay, so I feel like we gotta do something with this, otherwise they wouldn't have shown it to me. Okay, what else what else do we gotta do? Let's check in here. Okay, so Bruno's in one of these coffins, right? Bruno? You in one of these? Must have picked them up already. Oh, okay. So when I do this and I do this like it showed in the cutscene, it creates this really interesting uh, foam. That smell. Hey, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Hmm. Is this the only thing I can use in the room? Because that would be kind of weird. Hmm. Can I, like, pick it up? No, thanks. That stuff smells terrible, man. Well, I'm sure it's it does. Of our packing foam. Okay, what does the packing foam do? Anything of value? Huh? What is the packing foam for? Also, why do we still have a baguette? What am I gonna do with a baguette? Huh? Okay. Let's go visit. <clears throat> wow, voice crack. Let's go visit Gladys, I guess. Because I'm assuming he's still down here. Okay. Anything change down here? Anything different with Gladys? Does Gladys have all the answers? Probably. It's locked. Hey. This sign says, I'm at the junkyard. Woo! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um. Wait a second. Is this the doorway that leads out to that area that's it's locked? That must be the doorway that leads out to the area that we saw before that was at the side where we climbed up that little rope balloon thing, whatever the heck that was. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we gotta do something with that. Where'd that grumbly guy even end up? He just sort of, like, disappeared, man. Huh. Okay. Let's see here. So we can't do anything over here that we haven't already done? What's this? They're just full of party favors. And I'm not in the party mood. Oh, well, that's rather unfortunate, isn't it? Okay. We already have the two things that we can gather from over here, apparently. Unless there's something, like, in that tent that I just didn't see, but it doesn't look like it. No. Okay. So now the question is, what do we do with Robert Frost and the piece of bread? And what the heck is that? Why is that glow? Not picking that. I don't like the way that eye is looking at. Hello? Yeah. Why is that a thing? That's interesting. Yeah, look at that door over there. It has to be the same door that you saw inside, right? That's the only thing that would make sense. Okay. There's another ladder up there, so I wonder how do I get over here to this ladder, right? And I can't just pick that rope up and throw it? Does it need, like, a weight? Where am I supposed to get a weight from? Yeah, because it sort of just blows. I think it needs a weight. And I don't think I can... No use for it. Well, that's the window. No use for it. The drapes are drawn. Dom must be in there napping. He doesn't seem to do no, much. Domino's in there. Domino's in there. Yes, I know. Okay. It's locked. So I need like something heavy so that can like wrap around, right? That's the only thing that would make sense to me. Okay, let's leave that there for later purposes. Come back down to the bottom over here. 
Yeah, I'm relatively certain that door is the same one you can see where Gladys' workshop area is. And he's out of the junkyard, which is rather inconvenient, so he's not going to give me all the answers. Can I go this way? Can I just leave? Rubicavra? Petrified forest? What? I'm not walking on the freeway. I shouldn't even be standing here. Fair enough. But, like, can't you just walk out of here? What are they going to do? Kill you? You're already dead. Something that's dead shouldn't be able to die twice. That doesn't even make sense. Now, what's something heavy I can tie around and use? Is there, like, something in Dom's office that I can, like, pick up? What's this? Hey, get out of there, Calavera. Why? Let me investigate. Maybe I have to, to investigate his room. Maybe I have to, like, get him to leave his room. So how would I get him to leave his room is the question at hand. I should close Bruno's record before the black marks burn into my screen. I thought I already did that, but okay. Can't go through the old case files. Hmm. Nothing but invisible wall over this way. I gotta be missing something. Can't click on anything on Ava's desk. I can only talk to Ava. It's my boss's secretary, Ava. It's okay. my boss's whipping boy, Manny. Oh, well, thank you. Totally appreciated that comment. I wonder if I can get something down from the garage that I can use. I gotta sort of make like a grappling hook, right? I wonder. I wonder. Hmm. Her, her, her. So, can I use, like, something from that tool bin? It's locked. Why is it locked? Who locks tool bins? It's locked. Yeah. Okay. What does that even do? It just seems to make a lot of noise. Huh. Okay. And I can't move these cars. Ooh, I might get hurt if I try to get one down by myself. Can I control the, like, controls for the car? To, like, move them myself? So I don't have to have somebody else do it for me? Is there a way to turn that conveyor belt on? I don't know. All I know is I need, like, something of heavy weight to, like, anchor myself. I mean, maybe the bread would work, but I feel like I need something like metal or something, and I don't really have anything that's metal beside my scythe. That could work. Maybe not. There's still, I still have a pack of playing cards. Hmm. So what is with this packing foam, then? What's this do when I spray it down? Can I, like, add something to it? Let's throw this in here. A deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Okay. What about we add a third element, which is this? That's not on fire. Uh, fair enough. Okay. Bread balloon, huh? This packing foam's got to do something, man. Something, at least, huh? And I just can't get in there. More sophisticated and delicate than myself. What's that? Can't reach. Well, what is it? Red tube looks familiar. I think that's the other end of Domino's message tube. If I could just get in there. Oh, I can, like, snag his messages then, right? So how do I get in here? Can I, like, use the playing cards? I don't know. There's got to be a way inside of here. Am I missing something? 
I've talked to everybody and I thought I've gotten everything. Maybe I haven't. Wait, what's that? Go back. No, yes, go back. I can't click on that cigarette. Okay. I thought maybe I could. Hmm. What if I did more? Oh, it just like does that. Is there like, can I like put this in a container or something? Can I pick this up? I don't need the hernia. Fair enough. Those who enjoy no hassle travel. Bruno, you and one of these must have picked them up already. Hmm. That's interesting. Take a quick sip of water. Hmm. It just sort of looks at this. It's a lump of our packing foam. And looks at these. Like, suspiciously. Why are you looking at it like that? He's like judging the packing foam. Never seen anybody judge packing foam before. Huh. Okay. Let's see here. So I can't I go in the there. Man doesn't want to be disturbed today. Is there something I'm missing? Have I missed anything? Hey, Hurl. Yeah. Well, you sound pretty out of breath, so I'm gonna blow. Always a pleasure, Cal. Can I get him out of his room so I can do something? Do I have to, like, yoink him out of his room somehow? I wonder how I'd go about doing that. What is this? It's a pack of cigarettes, isn't it? I was looking at the books. Why am I looking at the books? I can't do anything with them. Read them already. Didn't help. My boss is always giving me these motivational sales books. They bought the farm, now sell them the cows. Stuff like that. It doesn't sound very helpful at all. Can I, like... Well, what would I use on the books? I can't do anything with these books. There's gotta be something, though. Nothing in there but my cloak. Eh, I'm gonna let it air out some more. And these are just old files. files. It would just make me sad. Huh. There's gotta be something to do with this messaging system. Can I throw something in the messaging system? Let's put some bread in the messaging system. Sure, why not? <laughs> Look out below. Oh, it did something. Or did it just crumble? It actually did, sort of did something, though. Can I put that down That's there? Not on fire. Oh, okay, fair. That's fine. Okay, so the bread did something. What about the balloon? Can I stuff the balloon down? What the... What is he doing with the balloon? Hey, he's just sort of like. Can I throw the playing cards down there? The deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Okay, so maybe I was supposed to stick the bread down the tube. Let's go down in the tube and see if it did anything. Maybe it changed something. And that'll be like the key to my success or something. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Anything at all in here? Looks the exact same to me. Wait, can I put packing foam on the bread? Okay, let's go grab some more bread and see if we put packing foam on it, if it makes a difference. Maybe that could be it. So I have to, like, load in, like, bread that, like, really, really shouldn't... I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. Like, really shouldn't exist, I guess? 
possibly. We got two viewers. Hi, two viewers. You're watching me solve puzzles in an extremely difficult game. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial. Well, like I kind of wanted to get inside. That's that was the idea. Thank you. Okay, let's try to put some like hacking foam on this bread or something. I don't know. And make it like expand. That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial. Can I like clear that off and then put it on there? That wouldn't be a very good use of this special ceremonial bread. Hmm. Three viewers. Hi, three viewers. I'm trying to figure out how to stuff bread down a down a complicated sophisticated mail room that's a bit that's basically what's happening I have to get in here because if I look at this if I do that again or this it's like Domino's tube or something and that's gonna allow me to get a better deal and be able to like leave I would assume right because then I can the more money I make, the more likelihood I'm going to be able to get out earlier. Huh. What's this? Can I do something with this? I can click on this. Mind if I use your hole punch? Knock yourself out. Thanks. Gets the aggressions out, doesn't it? I might start using a hole punch for can that. I take your hole punch? <laughs> I doubt you could take my half punch. Funny. Punch. Can I hole punch the bread? Let's hole punch the bread. That wouldn't be a very no. good use of Okay, we're not hole punching the bread. bread. We need a little purple balloon, I suppose, and fill it. So like a deflated balloon? Hmm. So like, because this guy does give out balloons, a deflated balloon. My kid uh, wants another balloon animal. Jeez, uh, what now? Can I do? What's a dead worm? Heck, that's easy. An empty balloon. That's exactly what I need. Yeah, and then I and I can fill it. Because then when I fill it, I can... What do I do when I fill it? Do I, like, throw it down the mailroom system, too? That's not what balloons are for. No, I know. I just want to get inside. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So if I... So if I do that... Okay. And then I do... No. Oh, do I need two balloons? So if I put this in here... I don't really want to do that. Yeah, I think I need another dead worm. I think I need two that I stick down the messaging system. I feel like that makes sense, because we got one blue one and then a red one. Or whatever, even though that's not what the colors are. Just sort of to do that little explosion thing that they do. Let's grab another dead worm, then. My kid, uh, wants another balloon animal. Uh, do you have any more you dead have worms? Dead worms back there? Well, sure. Asking for all the dead worms. Okay. Now we put this away. And we go over here. And back inside. So if I put, like, the other one in the red, so this one in the red, and if I stick both down the tube system, maybe it'll do something. Let us see. Let us see. Hi to the three viewers that are watching. So I wonder what that hole punch is for. Maybe it's just there so you can relieve your stress. As Ava uses it for, apparently. 
Okay. So let's... Let's... No. Yeah. Okay. Let's stick this one down here. That worked. And that's half of it. And then we have to put the other half down. Yeah, so it makes a little foam stuff. And then it'll stop the machine, right? Because if it stops the machine... Yeah, because if it stops the machine, then that purple guy will have to come back. Right? Yeah, there we go. So now the machine can't move. That doesn't sound good. No, it doesn't. So that I wasn't supposed to stick any bread down there. <laughs> well, the more you know. Server's down again. What else is new? It's almost like I didn't have I totally didn't have anything to do with that. No, never. Is this is there like a purple guy in here now? Yeah. Can I like Okay, so he unlocked it. Why is he scratching his butt? I'm not getting any messages. Is the server down? This is their idea of a joke? They think it's funny? I'd like to jam their tubes with packing material. See how they like that. So you're saying the server is down, is that it? The server is not down. It's never down. It's just temporarily unavailable while I'm doing some maintenance, that's all. Fair, fair point. So how long is it gonna be down? With a job like this, you can never tell. Probably hours. Or until no one's around to see you sneak out, eh? Whichever comes first. Okay. Can I squeeze in there just for a sec? Are you kidding? This is a highly secured area. No one's allowed in here who ain't me. What's so special about you? I, sir, am an elemental spirit. Summoned from the land of the dead itself. Yeah, yeah, let me guess. You were given one purpose, one skill, one desire. Fixing pneumatic tube switchers. No, I was created to run the elevators, but they put in those dang motion detectors and put me out of work. Oof. Who would that do sucks. a terrible thing like this? It's those punks in the mailroom. They think this baby is going to put them out of a job. And they're right. You know, I really think it's clean enough. Oh, it's clean enough to run, all right. I'm just fiddling around to be safe. You know, gotta cover my ass. Yes, you do. Just curious. How'd you get in there? I squeezed down one of these tubes like a pixie. Oh. Do you think I got in here? Through the door, just like you. Say, uh, chatty Cathy, I got a lot of tubes to flush here. Hey, me too. I'll let you go. So how do I get over to there now? He's on fire. Ah, 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 ah. You tried to blow this joint sky high? That's a magnesium compound fire extinguisher. Spray that on this packing foam, and we'll both be riding the giant Roman candle out of here. What? Why would they put something so dangerous in here? I guess they didn't expect this room to be full of hazardous waste. Huh. So, what if I just spray it? That's not on fire. So I have to. Can I create a fire? Is that a thing I can do? Good enough for government work. Okay. Huh. He didn't close it all the way, did he? Where the heck was I during that scene? Okay, I don't think he covered. He closed it all the way. The wheel won't turn and the door won't budge. Well, he must have. Something else keeping it shut. Not picking that. That wheel should open it. Huh? Can I use the fire extinguisher to like That's not on fire. open it? I just gotta open it again, and he had it open. Maybe what was supposed to happen was I was supposed to distract him with a fire somewhere else? 
Hmm. Any ideas, chat? Anybody have any ideas of what we should do? I feel like maybe it would be a good idea to go grab some more of those balloons. And do the same filling thing. Possibly. Maybe that'll do it. Another balloon animal. Uh, it's, uh, more dead worms. Well. I'll take two more dead worms, please. My kid died. Uh, Thank you. Well, sh I like this music. The music is fun. Okay, we got two more dead worms. Deflated balloons, whatever you want to call them. And let us see here if we can make the same problem happen again. But this time, start a fire. I wonder if I can, like... Sp it, does it have to be on fire, or do I have to, like... How would I start it on fire? So I can't just click there. It's not on fire. Huh. And I can't, like, fill up another balloon with that. So I have to have one balloon full of the blue stuff. And the other balloon full of the red stuff. And then stick them down the tube again. But this time... You have to change the door's lock. What do you mean the door's lock? How do I change the lock? Is there something I missed? Okay, let's go back to where we were before, and then I'll see what he mean by it. I love this game. If you need any hints, just let me know. Thanks. Thanks so much. You guys are being very supportive in chat. We got two new chatters that I've never seen before. Well, he's repairing it, so I have to change the... Okay. Okay, I think I get that now. Yeah, it's good to know people really like this game. I really like this game, too. It's, it's been a while, like two years-ish, since I've played the first couple of levels and just areas of it. So I'm completely forgetting what to do here. Okay, so when he's repairing it, let's let's put the balloon down there, and it's gonna do the explosion thing again, and then. Okay, and let's do the other one. Maybe I, I feel like I need to, like, start a fire or something, too. Otherwise, I wouldn't have needed that fire extinguisher. Server's down again. What else is new? Of course it's down. But I totally had nothing to do with it this time. Totally. No, oh, that voice crack. It's fine. Okay. So he's repairing it again, and then I have to change the lock on the door. Like, slip a card in between it? Can I, like. Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Can I do that? Deck of cards just wouldn't help there. Oh, change this lock. Oh, so when just he. An open door. Strange, yet symbolically compelling. So when, he, when I leave the room, he's going to be like, ah, I'm all done. And then. Good enough for government work. He's gonna close it on himself, and it's not gonna close, and then I can get in there, then I could probably steal one of Domino's orders, 
or people or whatever. Yeah, because now I can open the door. Yeah, there we go. Thanks, chat. Thank you. Okay, so now we can... Okay, I think... I think that looks like where a deck of cards could come in handy. Perfect. Wait. Too much air pressure. Too much air pressure. Hmm. Oh, the server is down again is a reference to the server constantly going down during the production of the game. Just a fun fact. Thanks. You, I never knew that, dude. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Okay, so we... I wanted to... Well, obviously it's locked. So I have to fix the air pressure because I put, I put cards down there like he did. But what happens is it's fine, but then it sucks the card and everything continues fine again. So what if I... Okay, has anything changed outside now that I know a lot of useless trivia about that game? Says Magic Rowan Knock. I probably mispronounced your name. Sorry. Yeah, there's some really cool facts about this game that I never knew. I listened to parts of the director's commentary. And it was kind of cool. Wait a second. What if we take the cards and we hole punch them? So that way there's not as much Maddie, air pressure. What are you doing? Just marking cards, honey. Ooh. That could be useful. Play this card there. Well well, we're not playing the cards there. We're going down the elevator, Manny. Get out get with the program. <laughs> okay. And through the door. And back over to here. And back into here. And grab that hole punched card, which is right here. And do that. And now I should be able to stick that in. And it won't, like, get stolen away from me. Interesting. That's good. That's really good. I think you're it, Mercedes Colomar. I think you're the one for me. Ooh, cussing. Is. Are you loco? What got into you? That was a company car. Oh, yeah. And it's even better company now. I'm in. You're not the nurse? No. You're not here to give me my medication? No, but I am here to ease your pain. Guess they couldn't save me, huh? No, but there's still a chance you could save me. That's a lot of responsibility, Mr. Calavera. What makes you think I've been all that good? Miss Colomar. Meche, please. Meche, I can see it in your face and in your file here, where it says you're entitled to a first-class ticket to... Nowhere? What? Did I do something wrong? Not according to your bio. It was spotless. At least the part I read was. I'm not sure I like the implication, Mr. Calavera. The only implication here is that I'm fired. Is it something I did? Well, no. Anything about your past you haven't told me? Quite a bit, considering I've told you nothing. Fair enough. Did you kill much when you were alive? Very little. Never killed anybody? I have to confess, I never killed anybody. Good. Not even a teensy bit of killing? Maybe I just wasn't trying hard enough. Fair point. Were you a big shoplifter? Well, they accused me of it once. Really? But it wasn't my fault. That puppy followed me out of the store. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Mean to animals? Oh no, I love animals. Animals are great. When I was volunteering at an animal shelter, I just stop right there. Ever cheated, cheated on your taxes? I've never paid taxes in my life. Aha. Uh -huh. 
I've never made enough money to be taxed. You know, it's mostly been our volunteers. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ever cheated on your husband? Mr. Calavera, there's no ring on my finger. There's no skin on it either. I guess you'll just have to trust me then. <laughs> Litter? Oh, man. Is that the best you can do? Work with me, Meche. Give me some dirt. Well, I could do something bad right now if that would help. No. It wouldn't count. Sorry. I give up. Don't say that, Manny. Are you sure you're Mercedes Colomar? Yes. Would you like to see my birthmark? You do. You, you don't have a birthmark, but sure. you, okay. Where is it? It's wherever you guys put my skin. Okay. Excuse me. <laughs> I have to go straighten this mess out. Sorry to be so much trouble, Mr. Calavera. It's no trouble. But please, call me Manny. Okay. There's something funky going on here. Why doesn't she have a first I'm class sorry ticket? I let you down, Manny. Huh? Domino's door is locked. Okay, of course Domino's door is locked. Nothing has changed. Hey, funny bones! In my office! Now! What? You vandalized company property to obtain secret information so you could take your illegally modified company car and your unregistered driver and run Domino here off the road. All in order to steal a client from her legitimate agent. There's nothing legitimate about this place. We give all the good clients to Domino. Manny, now I'm embarrassed for you. You've embarrassed the whole office. I'm going to call the woman in here so you can apologize to her yourself. Ava. Send in Ms. Colomar, please. She left about 15 minutes ago, sir. She said she had a long walk ahead of her and she wanted to get started. Walking? She had a ticket on the number nine. Why does she think she has to walk? That's the best package I could find. <laughs> now you see why I give all the good clients to Domino. That woman was a saint and a shoe in for a double end ticket that she's not going to get because you just couldn't find it. And now, because of your little stunt, she's out there, on her own, walking by herself through the petrified forest, facing the demons of the underworld, alone and unprotected. This is her reward after a lifetime of hardship and public service? Her destiny stolen by some overreaching salesman looking for a fat commission he didn't deserve. Get in there and stay put until the boys downtown tell us what they want done with you. Someone's gonna take the fall for this, Calavera, and it ain't gonna be me! Okay, so now I'm stuck in here. Huh? Ooh, ick. It came out like soft-serve ice cream, but judging by the smell, I think it's auto body filler. So I just can't leave. Hey, is anybody out there? So, Manuel, hey. have you thought about what you have done? Who the heck is that? Who's out there? I'm you. Or rather, I was you years ago. Yeah, well, I'm me now, so get lost. What? Get me out of here. The only way out, Manuel, is to be taken back in. If you are truly still loyal to this company, declare it loudly. The management might hear and stick you right back in their fold. Um, but like... The deal D runs a crooked game, and I intend yeah. to prove it. You would do that? That could cause this agency a lot of trouble. Yeah. I'm gonna blow the lid off this place. Young man, you are an enemy of the Department of Death. Welcome to the club. What? Salvador Limones and guest. Where are you taking me? the headquarters of the LSA. Okay, I remember this. <laughs> a Lost Souls Alliance. We're a small group, Manuel. We're always looking for new soldiers. To do what exactly? We need help in our intelligence unit. You know Eva, of course. Manny? I was once a reaper like yourself, Manuel. But I uncovered a web of corruption in our beloved Department of Death. I have reason to believe that the Bureau of Acquisitions is cheating the very souls it was chartered to serve. I think someone is robbing these poor, naive souls of their rightful destinies, leaving them no option but to march on a treacherous trail of tears, unprotected and alone, like babies, Manuel, like babies. What's your evidence? That's where you come in, Manuel. Or should I call you Agent Calavera? Manny suits me fine. 
I'm not looking to join any military organization, Sal. I just want my job back so I can work off my time and get out of this dump. Well, you won't even be able to get out of this city without my help. Which means, of course, you won't be able to find that woman and you'll never get your job back. When you're ready to join the cause, my man, come talk to me. We might be of some use to each other. Best character, to be honest, like Babies Manuel. Babies! Yes, he is a great character. And Ava's down here. So you're not really a secretary. I'm a spy, Manny. Well, that's the last time we use that temp agency. <laughs> Any messages for me? Yes. Join or die. But I'm already... Again! Fair point. Ava, you gotta get me out of town. They're gonna sprout me. You uh. can't leave, Manny. We need access to the DOD computer network if we're ever gonna find out what's going on. And we can't access without a salesman like you. The computer IDs you when you log on. How does it do that? Fingerprints? I don't have any. Your teeth, Manny. Haven't you ever noticed your computer scanning your teeth when you log on? I thought that was just a power search. Uh -oh. We need your teeth, Manny. We can't let you go. Sorry. Oh. Doesn't Kapal wonder where you are? Don and Domino are both locked up in Don's office with some bigwig from downtown. Some fatty in a fez. Hmm. Who is the fat man, I wonder? <laughs> and how does he fit into this sinister puzzle? What? <laughs> how long have you been a spy? Salvador recruited me about a year ago. I couldn't resist him. He's just so noble. What are you working on there? I'm trying to get this radio working so we can use it in the field. But it looks pretty hopeless. Salvador is right. We need good old-fashioned homing pigeons to communicate with our field agents. You have field agents? No, it's just Sal and me right now. But someday, Manny. So, you won't help me out of here? Sorry. I'll help you out, but not your teeth. Think it over. I think I remember this part. I think I have to get an imprint of my teeth so they can use it to sign on. Manuel, I was looking at that. Oh. Okay. Okay, there's this is the computer. This computer shut off. We salvaged that unit when the company threw it away. But we have yet to get it working. When we do, we'll need you to get us into the system. I'll be long gone before then. We'll see, Manuel. We'll see about that. It won't budge. It opens for members of the LSA only. Can I join the LSA? Open that door, Sal. I got places to go. Does that mean you're ready to join us? Okay, I'm in. What do I have to do? I'm going to build an underground army of souls to fight the injustice I have seen in El Marro. Communication will become vital as the Lost Souls Alliance spreads out. We'll need messengers we can trust. Ooh. You want me to be your messenger? No, Manuel. Our numbers are small and our agents are too valuable to risk that sort of work. History shows only one messenger to be of use to a cause like ours. Carrier pigeons. If I grab some pigeons off the roof, will you let me go? No, I need to raise them from birth, Agent Calavera. I need you to bring me their eggs. Do you know something I don't know? Have you ever wondered why your clients, even your best clients, never seem to qualify for the packages you know they deserve? Yeah. Yes. My last client in particular, Mechi. Well, they all did qualify, Manuel. Especially her. Yeah. But somehow, somebody with access to the files has stolen their just rewards. Their sweet hereafters. Their tickets on the number nine? Precisamente, amigo. Interesting. What would they do with the tickets? A ticket on the number nine is like a leaf of gold, Manuel. Especially to one who has died with a less than perfect record. Someone is profiting here from those that would buy their way into heaven. Ah. Uh. But money's not important here. We all just want out. You want to get out, Manuel. And so do I someday. But for some people, this world is all there is. They have decided to seek pleasure and happiness here in the eighth underworld. And for that, you need money. Yep. You're keeping me here because you need the eggs? Why are you still here, Calavera? Go get me an Air Force before it hatches. Now that's all the briefing you need, soldier. Viva la revolución! Viva la revolución! I can't do that accent. I, <laughs> I try. It doesn't work. Oh, that's a glitched out texture. Okay. So this is open again. I don't know if Gladys is in there or not. But I have to climb up here. I still don't know how I'm supposed to get over because I can't throw the rope. Maybe I think... Oh, wait. Wait. No, the rope's the same way. Yeah. 
I have to get something to attach the rope to. And I'm thinking something, like, heavy. I just don't have any idea where I'd find that unless it's in the garage. Which is very possible, so let's go search the garage then. And invisible walls are in my way. Okay. <laughs> is Gladys in here? Or is Gladys just, like, gone? Gladys, where are you? Tools? Tools? Maybe tools? It's locked. Okay. Hey, what did they do with Gladys? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Should I get another balloon and fill it with this stuff? I don't know what I'd use that for, but I could try it. Capitalism is a prison even in death. Exactly. It can be a quite a prison, especially for these people in particular. These dead people in particular. It definitely, definitely can be a prison. A just infinite cycle of people always wanting money. My kid, uh, yeah, okay, my more dead worms. So forget it. Wait, what? So I thought he was just gonna give it to me. Do you have any more? Look, if I give you any more of those, you'd be able to go in the business for yourself. Ah. So forget it. I gotta go, but you'll find what you need by looking around the window edges. Ledges. Well, thanks for tuning in. I really, really appreciate it. Um, feel free to hit the follow button before you leave. I'm probably planning on streaming this again soon, because this is a really, really, really fun game. We got nine viewers! Holy crap! Wow! I'm playing, like... I'm playing the Grim Fandango, and I got nine viewers. That's awesome. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Hope you're enjoying me struggling to figure out how to throw a rope. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking for something. Hmm. Tom's office is empty. Can I climb in? No use for it. No use for it. Dom's office is empty. I can climb in Dom's office. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah uh ha ha ha. And that's still the shot of whatever. Okay, let's go searching through his drawers. What the? What is it? Yes, grab it. It looks like a glowing hunk of coral. That's what I'm gonna probably need to use. And that's. So that's, that's the drawer. I'm gonna try to guess his password. Let's see if I can guess it. Nope. It's not Golden Boy. Shocker. Uh, I'm gonna do a quick save here before we lose our game progress. Slot number five. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. Good, I snuck in and out really efficiently. So now, what if I attach this glowing coral to this right here? So it acts as like a grappling hook. That would be cool. That's how Domino meant it to be used. Well, I'm sure that's not how he meant it to be used. Yep, grappling hook, look at that. And now we climb. Climb, Manny, climb. Only slightly dangerous. Okay, now we gotta get we gotta get pigeon eggs so they can hatch pigeons. Where the pigeon eggs look like they're right there. Can I scare off the pigeons? Wait, can I just run over here and just grab the eggs, or do I have to like figure out a way to scare off the pigeons now too? Oh yeah, they just start attacking me. Interesting. Bread. I say we use bread. If we sprinkle some in there... They'll fly over here. Right? And when they fly over here... Watch it! Hey. Get him off me! Back off, birds! Hey. What? What? 
Okay, so... Oh, what if I... What if I use the balloon? Because, like, loud noises... Loud noises are scary. Nobody likes balloons popping. That always sounds horrific. So what if we grab some more bread? We take that Robert Frost balloon that we have. And we make an attempt to pop, have them pop the balloon. Because if they're going after the bread that's on top of the balloon, they won't know when they hit the balloon and it'll go pop and it should scare them, right? I'll just take a little more bread to honor the dead. I think that makes sense. We'll try it. We will try it. Keep on keeping on. And up the multicolored rope that doesn't look like a rope and looks more like something you'd find in the circus. And up this rope as well. There we go. And continue up the ladder. And then we got to scare the birds. Let us scare the birds. And we're sprinting. Come on, sprint. Faster. Andale, andale. Okay, right over to here. Switch camera angles for me, thank you. Put the balloon in first. Robert Frost is going to scare them. Eventually. And then we put some bread on it. And then I step back. And hopefully... Yep, look at that, it scared him. And that's the most delay, uh, delayed scare I've ever seen in my entire life. But now the eggs are free. Yeah, beat it, you lousy little ledge peckers. Yay. Okay, let's go grab the eggs, and then we can go down to Salvador. You must come with me, young ones, for I am the Green Reaper. <laughs> let's... Man, are those pigeons gonna be ticked? Okay, so I got two eggs. Okay, and now they need my teeth still. And I wonder if that's what that, like, gooey, yucky stuff was. I just don't know. They want my teeth. But, like, what would I... That, that pigeon just, like, floated next to me. He didn't even fly. The pigeons aren't even flying. How dare they. Okay, let's go down and tell Salvador I've gotten the eggs. Agent Calavera. And to guess. Yay. Let me in. I has the eggs. Give them to Salvador. Check these babies out. Excellent, Manuel. With these, I can breed an entire army of winged messengers. Yes. Our revolution can spread now across the land, carried on the shimmering wings of justice. Thanks to you. Yay. Agent Calavera. I myself would also like to spread across the land. But you can't. We need your dental work here to access the computer. Yeah. I am sorry. But freedom has its price. Yep. I know. I have to mold my teeth. How would I go about molding my teeth? Because that's, that's apparently the equivalent of face ID. Finish this last puzzle, and then I think that'll be it for today's stream. We've been going for over an hour and a half. Okay, so I need something that I can stick my teeth in. Do I have anything I can stick my teeth in currently? No. Huh. I need, like, a mold. Not like a mold, but a mold. I need like a... Like, I don't even know. Like a, it's like a smile print. It's like getting dentures. Not when there's a door. What? Is that like a joke towards the window? Okay. 
So I wonder if there's something that I, I have to grab something that I can use to mold my teeth. I assume I cannot I go upstairs. back. I in. want them to think I'm still locked in the shop. I like how they just don't check that I'm down here anymore. That's just not their biggest concern. Okay, we're gonna climb the rope. I wonder if anything that Domino had I could use to bite into. Huh. Let us see. Maybe I just missed it. Anything else I can click? Well, besides that. I wonder if I punch this hard enough, if anything will happen. There's something up there. Wait, his denture things. He's got like, what is it, what are those called? Mouth guards. Ugh, Domino had this in his mouth. It's fine. You won't even taste it. That's what I needed. Cause then I can pour the, the, the like, greasy gross stuff in there. And then I can mold my teeth and get out of this dump. Yay. Okay, let's go this way. And that way. And we're going all the way down here. We're going all the way down here. Already, already, already. Okay, so we grab the mouth guard. And we fill it up with this stuff. That's disgusting. Fill a dent. Good for dents, great for dentures. And use. Ugh. Wow, that made a perfect impression of my teeth and left quite a chalky aftertaste, too. Ew. That's disgusting. <laughs> okay, so wait. I already did it. Why are you doing it again? No, and then, yep, a perfect fit. Yeah, okay, we're just we're we're testing to make sure that it was perfect. Sure, we'll go with that. Okay. Got something here that might interest you. Okay, well, let's see. Let's get back in and hopefully we'll see a cutscene. Because I finally did something of value or whatever. I'm not sure what to make of that. Why don't you show it to my intelligence officer? Okay. Manny, this looks like a perfect impression of your teeth. That's what it is. This as a mold to make a fake set of teeth and get into the computer system that way. Good work, soldier. Well, how come you couldn't figure you that out? You are a friend <laughs> of the revolution, Agent Calavera. And now, let me be of service to you. You must go to the town of Rubacaba, my friend. If you want to find your lost soul. How do you know where she is? I don't. But everyone who wants to get to the Ninth Underworld must cross the Sea of Lament. And therefore must go to Rubacaba to get passage on a ship. As long as you get there before she does, you'll find her. But it may be quite a wait. I'll wait as long as it takes. Manuel, are you in love with her? Love? Love is for the living, Sal. I'm only after her for one reason. She's my ticket out of here. Very interesting. Look at there's some tunnel. I'm all the way to the edge of the petrified forest. There's El Maro, and here's the petrified forest. And here seems like a good place to save and end the stream. That's all, guys. I really, really hope you did enjoy. Thank you all for the incredible, incredible support today. It really, really meant a lot. Okay, let's do a raid. I like to do a raid at the end of my streams just so we can support other people. Because supporting is the name of the game on the Twitch community. And I believe, for Hermitcraft-wise, iJevin is streaming. So, let us... Let us do that. We're going to... We're going to raid iJevin. Where is the raid button? 
So make sure to, before we leave, uh, follow, check out my socials. They're sort of linked right there. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you all at another time. Bye, everybody.